Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mel7 Gaming. We're back with some more MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. This is our yet another Mech Lab save, and I am enjoying this so much. I'm I'm at least a week ahead in editing, uh, and I am about two weeks ahead in recording. Uh, so I'm way in the future, or I guess by the time you guys see this, I'm way in the past, depending on how you want to think about it. So um, I did notice, by the way, that th we had a bunch of extra systems pop up this last time, and I don't know really why, but... Um, this one right here is, uh, it's this one, excuse me, is 10 to 12. This one is 7 to 9. This one's 12 to 13. So we have a 7 to 13 right there. Uh, and that's also 13. That's 14. And this is 14. I think there's a 15 down here, isn't there? And there's the 15. So we could kind of head up here and start to do this, maybe handle some of these uh, high value ones if we wanted. Now, I am. this is episode 23, I think is what it's going to be. And I don't really want it to be significantly longer than that. Um, and so what I'm kind of thinking is maybe I'm going to run through a bunch of missions, see if we can get some assaults, and then kind of dive back into it with a couple episodes of uh, kind of big expensive assault mechs, because we haven't seen those yet, um, and kind of go that route. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a few missions here. I'll record them in case something really cool happens. There's a big explosion, whatever. Um, and then if I actually remember to go through these like that when I edit it, like I said, I'm... I'm I've got at least one week worth of videos that haven't been edited yet. So who knows when I'm going to get to this one. But um, if I remember, I'll, I'll give you the highlights as we go. And then maybe run three or four missions and take up maybe here or in here. Um, you know, maybe do... A, I've got a mission here that's 69. You have to do it, right? Um, and then maybe we can get some here that are the kind of the mid-70s and kind of work our way up. So that's my plan for right now. Uh, so... Not much. I did one run one video off camera already. Uh, I don't think anything special happened. Uh, we do have. Oh, you have you guys seen the Cyclops yet? Yeah, you did. You saw this. I didn't use it this last time because it was still being repaired. Okay. I was gonna say I need to show you the Cyclops if you had it. Um, so let me go run a few missions and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so we finished this mission. I have, I could take an Orion for it'd be every single point we have, but in theory, it's worth nine and a half mil, which means we get about half of that. So you know, five mil essentially, right? If you go down just five pieces, you know, so one one fifth, twenty percent, you're only get you're getting half the money, less than half the money. Uh, you know, and if you go down to, well, I guess that's not quite a third, and you're still not making good money with this. This is better than that. Um, but it's not great. Now, I don't think we need any of these as far as it's not giving us a highlight. There you go. Again, you blow through the back straight through it. Now, we could take two LB-10Xs, right? Um, and there is a... I guess actually there's only one. We have two of them already, so maybe not that. Um, there is a double heat sink down there that's three as well that we could get. There's nothing else really in here. There's some ammo we could get that wouldn't be terrible. LB-10X ammo. We have three as well. I think I'm just going to wait. Because uh, I was thinking we could do two LB-10Xs on the Rifleman. I did this with the AC-20 again um, build. And you can see we did we did okay. 914 damage, 5 mechs killed. Um, upgraded our tanking a little bit, our shielding. Uh, so, I mean, definitely there's, there's some stuff we could do with it. I had talked about potentially doing... Um, uh, I'm just going to... Well, hold on. Let's take a look, see if there's anything on here I want. Um... The narc is down. It does have an XL300. Oh, that is damaged. Um, is it repairable? No. No. So, um, essentially, there's an LB10X here. And that's kind of it. I'm going to revert. I'm kind of thinking I might just... Confirm. Let's, let's put it in storage. Confirm. Oh, and you can save the loadout, so when you bring it back, you just hit the loadout again. And now I'm going to sell it for whatever we're going to sell it for. We got $3 million. Well, almost $4 million, so that's okay. You know, we were saying we were going to get, you know, about 5 So we lost a mil, but that's gear that we have in our in our area. So I'm going to go ahead and repair everything else. Actually, I want to take a look at the Jaeger real fast. What else do we have um, that we could put over there? Um, we do have two LB... We got a bunch of LB-10Xs. Um, 
and they weigh 11 tons this weighs 14 tons you know i don't i don't know i mean there's not really a whole lot more we could do we could do you know if we went with lb10x's we can't get two of them in there which would be awesome um you know so okay now we need ammo um we're gonna get more ammo out of it so we could do still two maybe three tons which would leave us five tons to go and we could put ams on it i suppose and we could put bigger lasers right so if we put ams on that's another two that leaves us three tons we could do pulse lasers i guess and another heat sink maybe it doesn't really need more heat sinks honestly at this point we don't really run hot with it you could probably especially if you're going from the lb20s to the lb10s take off the heat sink to get yourself another ton and that would leave you about four tons um so you could do three tons for each each laser because we only have two we don't have any missile hard points it's just projectile hard points right so you know you could do something like three ac2s maybe uh do you have the do i have three well i've got two we can we can put two on here oh yeah we could do three ac2s pretty easy in each arm um which would get you a fair amount of firepower honestly um these do 2.1 damage per second whereas the ac20s do four so you would actually get an extra 50 percent damage right because you'd be doing six per arm instead of four per arm um now this weighs 14 tons these weigh six so you would need to come up with some more room right because you're going to come up with they're gonna be 12 tons for two 18 tons for three so you're gonna have to come with eight more tons if you want to do that somewhere um, and I don't know where you would get that, honestly. You could make the engine slower. Um, you could probably do endo. That'd get you some. Because um, we have plenty of slots left. You'd, you'd still have lots of slots left. One, two, three, four, five. That'd be 10 slots there, plus 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. You'd probably come with 15 slots. Um, so you could do three AC2s if you wanted. Um, these are nine. And they do 2.5. Yeah, it's not really worth the extra weight, honestly, to go for to go for the UX instead of the AC2s. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what you do. Um, the thing is that this works so well with the AC-20s, right? And there's so little else on it that it would just be hard to come up with more to do with it. So I'm just going to revert, repair all, live with it as it is. It, it works just fine, obviously. All right. All right, quick look. I found endo for a heavy. So you could do with this. So three AC-2s with two tons of ammo, jump in the heat sink, Leaves us at 68. So you'd have to maybe downgrade the engine. You'd have to come up with three more tons, which would mean you'd need to get down to a 10-ton engine, which would get us down to... Uh, which one is engines? Here. Um, well, you could do like a 210, right? And then get yourself... Uh, Yeah, do a 210 and then lose half a ton of armor somewhere. Like, that'd work. But we're already down armor a little bit. So I'm not sure I'd want to lose another half a ton. Um, that'd be difficult. And then maybe you've got long range. Uh, what is the range? Of these? Seven, uh, range isn't that huge. Um, max range is 1600. So then maybe you increase the sensors on it. And you set it up as a sniper. And maybe armor's not as big a difference. Um, you know, you could sit back a little ways. You could also potentially um, maybe give it uh, Myanmar bundles. I think you would have just enough to do that if you really wanted to. Um, that's cooling, mobility. Uh, okay, we've got it. We'll, we'll pick it up. So if we were to go here, we have just enough. What did, what did we say we needed engine-wise? 
I've got a 270. That's not what we need. Market. XL. We need to go down to a 210. That's th this is becoming an expensive uh, practice here, but we can we can reload from when we got here to the station if we need to. Um, so let's get rid of that and let's put a 210 in. That saved me more weight than I thought. Um, oh, good, we lost that. Let's throw that in. Um, do we have a better gyro to put in it? No, we could put another gyro in it, actually. Um, market, gyro. No, they just have the Myanmar. All right, so that gets you back up to a speed of about 52. The Myanmar, when you're hot, will give you a little bit more speed. Um, man, that thing's going to be slow. I have to think about it. I suppose the other thing you could do is you could do th six machine guns and then do like two PPCs, ER PPCs in the torso um, for your uh, for your kind of your long range. That wouldn't be too bad. Machine guns. What type of range do the machine guns have? They've got two sixty four max, one twenty optimal. But you could range. You could increase that by a chunk. Um, not a huge amount. Optimal maybe by another 10 by doing the, the range and speed upgrade um, for projectiles. So you get a little bit more out of that. And then, like I said, just do a couple big PPCs for your big heavy hitting. Um, you now we've got two ER PPCs. You know, so you could do something like that as well. Um, and they do 2.5 damage per second. So 10 damage each as opposed to 20 damage each. And then have the machine guns just tear things apart. I'm gonna give this a go. Oh no, I'm not. I don't have the I don't have the money for it, apparently. Under tonnage, missing two. Oh, the 210 doesn't have enough heat sinks on it. Alright, never mind. We're gonna we're gonna ignore it. <laughs> but at least we we were able to push our kind of our brain design here and kind of get an idea. Um so you could still do it. Um we have uh You'd have to go without the Mimar, right? Because we wouldn't have enough spots, especially right now we've got double heat sinks, right? So we would need um, six slots to get two more heat sinks on there. Um, we'd still have to lose half a ton. Um, now we're over tonnage, so we couldn't start on it. So we'd have to lose half a ton of, of something. Um, potentially you could go, instead of two tons of ammo, maybe you go a ton and a half. Um, instead, that still gets you 300 rounds. So, you know, that's 150 rounds per arm, I guess. 50 rounds per gun. Um, I don't know. Let me know down below if you guys have built something like this and if you thought it was worth it. I think for now, I'm going to pass on it. Although it does look fun, if, if I'm honest. Um... It just also looks slow, and I'd rather not be that slow at the moment. Maybe if we were running it with just assaults, um, I guess if you're running it as your support mech, this will guarantee it stays back in snipes rather than runs up to brawl because it's just too slow to run up to brawl. By the time it gets there, the fight's going to be over. Um, you could do a better gyro that'll get you a little bit of speed too to bring some of that. They just didn't have one. Anyway, we'll continue on. Ooh, Gauss Hollander. And I missed the PPC because I'm I'm bad.
Sierra 2-1. All right, so I've played a handful of missions, maybe eight, maybe four random missions, and then a four-part multi-mission. And this is kind of where we ended. Now, I ran it in um, this area, which is seven to nine. Um, so not terribly difficult. Um, we got a little bit of money out of it. Um, I had a bunch, I had salvage for small mechs I wanted to get. Now, a few of them I've already assembled and sold because they weren't important to us, much like this spider right here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and sell that. We just bought that one for... We just got that one for money. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and sell that. Now, what I really wanted to do, um, I wanted to do kind of a full Omnimech setup. And so we've got plenty. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, we'll assemble this one. Uh, we've got a couple of these, apparently. We'll assemble. <laughs> Ended up with more than I needed, as it turns out. Uh, we, we got two of them just flat out. Uh, we didn't have to get salvage parts from this last time. So I'd already had one that I got that way. I got two more of the last one. And then uh, that last one, we also got enough parts to finish building a second one. So we ended up with a bunch. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, we'll drag them kind of into here. Uh, oh, actually, no, let's go. Let's put this one here. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't have anything anyway. Let's go with the OC and a blackjack. We're still trying to collect these. We need a second one to turn in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just, these are fine. We're just going to quick repair on them just to get them done. We're back in Benjamin, I believe is where I flew to. Oh, wait, so we've got options here. Now, according, uh, I don't think we need two A's. I'm going to, which of these is better? That's in reasonable shape. This one's just missing the head. I had shot him with the AC-20 while he was jumping past me. It was awesome. Um, all right, we're going to sell him. There we go. So that leaves us an O, an OA, an OB, and an OC. So these are Omnimex, and these were kind of the, this is the Inner Sphere's response to Clan, I, I think is the shortest, easiest way to do it. I think I'd like to run this. I don't know what it's supposed to have on it in the first place. Um, we saw some of these that were huge LRM mechs. Um, this one is all projectile, which is pretty crazy. Um, this one here, we can actually see the loadout because I didn't completely destroy it. You can see it's an LB-10X, double heat sinks, um, and some flamers. And a small laser. Uh, I don't know what good the small laser does, but um, we're mostly full on ammo, so there's no reason to really get... Re oh, there's... Yeah, there's no real reason to get rid of the small laser. So we'll keep it on there. Um, yeah, it's... I mean, this is it, right? This is this is the OA. It's the LB-10X model. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Q on that one. Uh, let's see if enough of this one's left. We should be able to see what it was supposed to be. Um, a large pulse laser. And do I have a double heat sink? I do have a double heat sink. So we can, we, can, we can replace that. Let's just hit repair all and see what it replaces. I don't have a tag. I've seen them. I just haven't bought one. Is there one on the market, maybe? Um... Coil. Yes. There we go. So we can replace that. So let's go to energy tag. Oops. Okay, but we don't actually hold on. Let's 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 go back here for a second. Let's let's look at this again. Does this one have too many options on it? Let's go load. Load mech. It has seven of six. So yeah, so it can't, it's not really supposed to have those. Um, you know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna get rid of the small laser. I think we still run with the tag. I like the idea of the tag. 
Um, where did it put it? On the arm? Uh, that's probably fine, but I'll go ahead and put it here. Or maybe I won't. Oh, there's not a spot. There's not even a spot there for it. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, repair all. So large, instead of a large pulse laser, um, do we have a large pulse laser for sale on the market? The market, for whatever reason, doesn't want to... Uh, uh, no, we've got large lasers, but not a large pulse. Okay, um, what do I have? We go large short burst. That's probably as close as I could come. So seven tons, seven tons, sure. We'll toss that on there. And that gets us another um, kind of crazy little Omnimech. Uh, this one also has a cow, some more head structure. So I'm going to go ahead and start on it. Oh, he's under tonnage. Well, we'll find out here in a second. I don't want to re-go back and build it. Let's see. Um... Let's take a look at this guy. Load out. Because another one we salvaged, so we should be able to see what it has. Um, two large lasers. Let's hit repair all. I need another double heat sink for this one. Now you can see this one's got a Beagle active probe on it, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I just need... So, let's see. Extends base sensor range, detection units outside line of sight, reduces HUD distortion. Um, so that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and hit start on this. We need to come up with another double heat sink, and I don't know that I have another one. I can pull one off another mech, though. So let's just go ahead and start the work on this one. Um, and let's see what the OC is. We don't need four of these. I think I want to run the blackjack as the other one, but let's see what's on this one, uh, what it's supposed to have. So five energy, six uh, per ballistic. Let me look to see... Um, let me check Sarna and see what this is supposed to have. So let's see, uh, Sarna.net. And I need a fire starter on me. All right, and this is what? Um, this one is a C. All right, the fire starter Omni C a pair of LRM-10s, two flamers, and a small laser with a C3 unit. We could do that, I think. Let me move this off so I can see both of it at the same time. Let's see. So two LRM-10s. All right. Um, I've got two LRM-10s. Easy. Um, I think I have a C3 unit. Is it under sensor? Yes. Um... Two flamers and a small laser. I don't think we got the room for... We don't even have an engine on it yet. So I'm not sure we've got the room for this. Uh, let's go... Uh, hmm. I thought I had some light Omni and stuff on here. Uh, repair all. Engine. Uh, I do got a standard 270... There we go. That gets us a little bit better. Now we're do now we're cooking with gas. Um, and that's gonna make it probably I don't know if that's what it's supposed to have on it, but that's that's fast enough for us. Um we can go double heat sinks, I think. We won't have extras, but we can at least get it the base doubles. Um, and then two flamers and two small I might not have flamers. I don't tend to hang on to flamers. I do have small lasers though. We could just give it a boatload of small lasers. Um, why can I not do can I put it here huh so to let me put that there but it's not going to let me put for whatever reason it's not letting me put small lasers on. I'm not sure why. I do need some LRM ammo. Let's go ahead. We can fix that problem. Um, maybe we give it two tons. Um, Mark, does the market have flamers? Uh, e flamer. One, two. Let's see if it'll let me put flamers on. Oh, I had... No, I didn't. So will let me put the flamers on. Um, 
would let me put machine guns on? Because I'm kind of thinking instead of the flamers, I'd rather have machine guns. Let's see what the market has. Um, don't see machine guns on the market at the moment. Okay. Well, we'll take the machine gun off for now. Uh, it doesn't say anything. Let's see. Two flamers and a small laser. Slave unit. Okay. Well, this is more or less what it's supposed to have. Um, do I have any targeting systems that'll work for it? I do have a tracker system here we could put on. That is for uh, indirect fire. So we'll go ahead and toss that on. Cockpit. We could give it a command po cockpit. That'd be three tons. That'd take us right up to where we want to be. Oh, I don't, I don't have one now. That's okay. You know, we'll spend the money on it. And yeah, let's start that one. So we've got four really badass fire starter omnis, which I think will be fun. And we will do a quick mission on them. So the question is now, what is supposed to be on this blackjack? Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and look at it too. Um, I'll pull it up on Sarna. Blackjack uh, 2 Omni. Oops, I, I can't type though. That's that's my problem here. Um, hmm. Let's just try Blackjack Omni. There we go. See what we get here. Uh, and this one is just the base one, it looks like. Um, let's see. Para Ultra AC-5s. And four medium lasers and four machine guns. Holy crap! Um, I do have two AC-5s. Um, I don't have two machine guns at the moment, but we can put one on. And four medium lasers? Is that what it's supposed to have? Am I like... I'm not on crack. Oh, four medium lasers and four machine guns. All right, let's find four medium... There we go. Four medium lasers. One, two, three, four. Put that one up here. Um, it's going to need an engine of some sort, which I don't think... I've got a standard, but probably it's supposed to be an XL. Um, what do we have... I don't know, like a 195 maybe? 270 will make it fast. Uh, but overweight. Okay, let's try... Um... Uh, I just don't have my... I mean, a 195 is the next thing there, and that's going to make it really slow. Um... I'm not really sure I want to spend the money on that, but let's go for it. Okay, it's it's 63, so 64-ish, right? That's assault mech speed. That's not great, but it leaves us 7 tons. I don't think that's right, though. I think we want something bigger. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put a ton of machine gun ammo on here. I'm going to put 2 tons of Ultra AC ammo in here. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to go ahead... And what do I do? I have I have uh, I don't I have for light and heavy. I don't have medium um, barrow uh, light and assault uh, equipment. Whoops. I'm gonna take that engine out for a minute. I'm hoping to maybe find a. a like a 210? Let's start with this. Let's start with this, and I'll see if I can find a 210. And we'll kind of putz around and we'll do that. So let's see. Uh, star map. I am a Benjamin. We'll hop over here to uh, Bukaroy. All right. I'm still looking for machine guns, but I did find Endo, which it's supposed to have. It's all supposed to have to... It's also supposed to have jump jets. It's supposed to have an XL200. Um, I couldn't find a 200, but I found a 210. Um, I gave it one less jump jet. And I don't know what the actual difference between the 200 and the 210 is, but it's supposed to have four jump jets, a 200, the four machine guns, the four medium lasers, the two UX. I think we're there, except we have three jump jets and a 210. I, I think that's fine. Um, and we're gonna. I did find a sniper sensor. It's going to increase sensor range by 500. So... This has an optimal of 600 and a max of 1,200. So our sensor range will be about 1,300. So we should be able to see things far enough out to hit things. I'm going to go ahead. Um, 
I think it's a... Did I not start? Wait. Missing one... Oh, I need another heat sink. I put one on, I think. I did, but the engine doesn't have enough. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. What we'll do is we'll put another heat sink on. And for now, anyway, we're okay. Maybe... Maybe we take off... Maybe we just go with one jump jet, just enough to kind of hop you over something, but not enough to really do anything. So it must be a one ton difference between that. So that'll let us start. We need an extra ton and a half of machine guns when we find them. We could also go from medium lasers down to small lasers. That'd get us an extra two tons as well. And we could put jump jets back on it if we wanted at that point. So it'd be the two UX, the machine guns and small lasers in close. Um, but I think we go for that. It's going to take a little while. Now, my only issue is... Um, I have a mech here on the market that I would like. It's a Hero Thunderbolt. It's six million, which we can afford. Now it's just it's just it's just a stupid laser boat. That's what it is. Um, and it's only 65 tons, which isn't we really would rather have assault, but it's a hero mech. Um it says Mary Talman grew up around mechs. Uh her father was a house tech with 22nd Avalon Hussars. She built her own locust. Um being comfortable inside a mech had its downside. She chaffed under the work of the NIS. Uh, enlisted with 22nd. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's off to her own command in the Bremen Draconis March Militia and quickly turned the troublesome unit around. An expert in atmospheric drops. It's no surprise Mary's mech is one designed for planetary assault and her constant tinkering means their Thunderbolt is anything but standard. Now, obviously, Hero, we get an extra structure and less heat. Uh, we also have multi-track, so our beams do better. Um, I'm kind of thinking, I wonder if we turn this into like a a pulse or a clan laser type of thing. Um, I mean, it's just, it's only got a standard engine at the moment. It's not expensive is kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, we could also go for a Hatamoto. This is the Kaze um, LRM Endo standard 320, couple PPCs and an LRM and a couple LRM fives. Not much firepower. Um, we could do more with it, obviously. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. There's another fire starter. There's an OB. Um, and there's an awesome, the standard PPC awesome as well, um, which is something else we could be going for. I would just really like this, but I just, I don't really have a use for it, if I'm honest. Top dog. Law. Oh, I am the law. But it's a cool looking mech, isn't it? I think we'll pass on it for now. All right. Um, let's go find us a mission that we can do with all of our, our small mechs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check the star map. Maybe head back up here. Um, I do have a mission down here that's a level 7. Um, what level are those? 6 to 8, 7 to 9. Let's head back over here. I don't know if we can do missions. Actually, you know, we're, we're right here. Let's just hop over here and we'll see what we can do with our uh, with our lights and one medium. All right, one thing I do want to do, though, real fast, is I want to... Let's see, this one is... Let's go equipment. Can we find machine guns here? Can we not find machine guns? It's just such a weird thing to not be... Like, normally they're everywhere. All right, so what we're going to do is probably we'll just... We'll just we'll just run the four fire starters, and, and we'll see if we can find some machine guns. All right, let's go ahead and do an upgrade here, though. Let's make this a sniper. Um, or make it anti-air. That'll be fun. Uh, and we'll give it the, the fortified. I probably shouldn't spend this much money on them. Um, but that's what we're going to do. And then maybe we'll give it... We don't have the machine guns yet anyway. So maybe just more ballistic damage across the board. Sure. Mostly I wanted to give it a roll. Oh, wait. So this one is our missile one. So this is our missile boat. So let's go ahead and upgrade it. I'm just going to give it the missile boat for now. Because um, I want to jump in and do stuff with it. Uh, missile boat. There we go. Uh, you are flamers, large lasers, beagle. I don't know, striker maybe for this one? Probably striker would be safe for all of these, to be honest. Um, 
Oh, hold on. Let's... Yeah, flamer and large lasers. Yeah. I think we just do striker. Uh, upgrades. You are large laser, medium pulse, with tag. I think we do striker for you, too. Let's say striker's probably safe for all of them. And you are LB10X. I'm going to make... Ooh, I don't know. Whoops. Um, upgrade. Striker probably fine for this one, too. Um, I'm wondering maybe if another... Um, if we make this another uh, anti-vehicle one, right? Uh, that LB-10X is great for taking out helicopters and tanks. Uh, and then from there they work on their own. I think that'll be fine. Uh, we need a paint scheme. They're all... Are they all this? You are not. I don't know that I like this paint scheme on it that much. Let's go something similar, though. Let's go paint. Um, the hero mech look like on that one. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Let's go for that. Let's go apply all, and we, we just want it on our... Yeah, all our fire starters. <laughs> uh, now, this one is... Um, this one's the missile one, right? So let's maybe change the color here to um, bright yellow. Just to denote that that... Oh, that looks good. That's our missile boat. And then our uh, the rest of them are, are red. I guess this one's projectile, so maybe we change it to blue. Uh, I mean, it already has some blue, but what if we make this like... Uh, um, Like that, and then this color. Uh, I'm actually kind of okay with that. Maybe we make it a little more teal. There we go. I don't know. Let's find a map mission. We got an assassination right there. This is such a weird episode. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's probably going to end up to be long. Um, there's about two hours of gameplay that I recorded that you're not going to see. Um, there just wasn't anything spectacular in it. Uh, let's go to take a look at the contracts. I mean, we could, honestly, we could we could do... It's only a two mission. Um, it has an assassination and a beachhead. I'm huge on beachhead. Although in these mechs, it's probably not too bad. Um... They're a little bit easier than that. Now let's 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 just do this. It's assassination. It's level thirty nine, which is reasonable. That's kind of the top end of what we're going to find in here. We'll go ahead. We'll take a little bit of money for repair, and we'll hop in. The weather's really kicking up, Commander. Your orders, Commander. All right. I think this is how we're going. I completely screwed up the colors, by the way. Uh, this one happens to be the missile. Uh, this one is the projectile. I got that right. But this one, these two are energy. I just kind of went O O A O B O C, right? And that's kind of how it went. I don't know that I'm in the most interesting one, but we can we can play with that. All right. So flamer large lasers are one and two. Flamers are three. Um, we've got one here in the middle and then one on the far side. So I think we go hit those and then we can kind of run up and take care of the others. See how it goes. Oh, already already working on shooting stuff. Now, I'm interested in... Now, Sarna says that these replaced um, a number of medium mechs, like uh, like Phoenix Hawks, and I want to say even Trebuchet. Um, I'd have to look again. But So I'm wondering like how big we can go mission-wise with these mechs. Um, so we'll kind of have to play that by ear. Oh, more loot. Let me get the loot. And we'll go see about... Uh, I guess there's nothing here. As far as... Uh, I mean, we may as well... Oh, we have a mech in here. Oh, 
That one's been tagged. Nice to see. Now they've tagged that one. I love this. I love seeing the, the interaction here. I think I'll probably just step on you or not, as the case may be. Are you stuck under the ground? Oh, we can still shoot you. Can we flame her you? Yes, we can. Flamers still work well for city destruction? Yes, they do. All right, what do we got here? And we'll hit him with the flamers. Yep, that seemed to work. All right, let's hop down here and see if there's anything down on this one. kill everything while we're here. Doesn't look like there's any tanks or any uh, mechs. Just just vehicles. I think that's good enough. We've got somebody up top and somebody down here with us. Let's handle the guy down here first. They're both lights. Uh, we got two guys up top. Down he goes. Here come the rest of them. Commandos are still uh, definitely in use. There's the tag. There's the LRMs. Here's the flamers. Man, we are really good, at least against lights. He's got machine guns, maybe we can loot some. We need three. Got him. Oh, I was gonna ignore those, but that's a J. Edgar filled with machine guns, and we need machine guns, so I need to kill stuff with machine guns so we can get loot for machine guns. There we go. Uh, and as you noticed, we do have a little circle around us on the mini-map. Uh, we do have Beagle on this, so we do have a um, little ECM action going on. Alright, I'm going to wait for my crew to get here. And here we go. We've got a trebuchet. And we've got a dragon. Ooh, and we've got a dervish. These, some of these dervishes are just nasty. And we've got all sorts of other stuff, too. Uh, I'm going to uh, start working on some of this stuff. Because there's a lot of LRMs in here right now. Take out some of that, and then we'll... Uh, All right, another one here. I'm watching the condition of my buddies here. All right, that's enough of this stuff. Just gonna stop here for a second. Blamer him. Let's even get rid of those arms. Get him to pop.
Okay, LB10X is gone. All right, he's out. I got more tanks over here. That one's gone, thank you. That one's gone, let's zoom back out to where we should be. Get in here on him. Uh, looks like we're going after the dragon next. At least that's who's tagged. Let's see if we can overheat him too. Oh, he tried to punch me. He's hiding behind the building. Let me get a laser back. Yeah, we're just going to flame him down. Uh, where's our way out? Let's go this way. Alright, we got a little bit of loot. AC, large chemical. Now we're looking for machine guns. Uh, we could get a dragon out of this. And we could get a trooper if we wanted. I don't think we need that. I mean, that's a, that's a primitive mech. What we want are machine guns, which may be at the bottom. Yes. Let's just grab a bunch of we'll grab all of them since they're apparently not something you can buy. Um, we could go for some salvage. There's nothing here we, we really need. The commandos are pretty badass. We could, some of these dervishes are nasty. It may not be worth, I mean, it may not be a waste of time to take dervish stuff. Let's grab it. If we sell it, we'll be okay. Um, I don't know how much uh, there is here. Um, but we can always get some more later. Some of these dervish... Well, you know what? I, I changed my mind. No, we'll take it. We'll take it. We can always build it and sell it later. But we'll just go ahead and grab some loot to sell up here right now. Um, I don't really have much in the way of medium lasers right now. So let's grab a bunch of those. And uh, we'll grab another jump jet. And we'll call that a day. We did 1,200 damage. 1,200 in a light mech. Um, nobody else did huge damage, but we saw the tar tag work. We saw the missiles coming in. Um, we got six, six mech kills, <laughs> 33 total kills. Uh, I think we did fine. I mean, Keen took a little bit of damage. I'd be interested in just how nasty, like how high you could take the damage on these mechs. I don't think we're going to, uh, but you know, we started this one looking for assaults and we ended with a mission with lights. Uh, but I just thought they're an interesting part of this timeline and this mech. And uh, I think they did just fine. Uh, I really think they did. I think I think it's viable. I think you can easily run these lights up into the medium levels. This was, what, a difficulty 39 mission? Um, so, yeah, I mean, let's see. This is what? Um, let's back out here a little bit. Six to eight. Um so this is probably, well, that's a 29 to 47 range there, a 37. So you're kind of about a level seven here, and we didn't have any problems at all. You know, you could probably easily run this to eight, maybe even do a difficulty nine mission. And now they go up to 15. You could run lights for well over half the half the game um, and do so effectively. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to strip these off. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell them yet or not. Uh, but I do need, like, my double heat sinks back and some other stuff like that. So we're going to... Whoops, hold on. We might repair them all first and then strip them. And then we'll start looking for assaults again. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.